We're live. Hello, Sharice. Hello. Welcome to the Inspire View Series 2016. My name is Sharice Boucher, uh, ShariceBoucher.com, and I'm a women's reinvention specialist, uh, life coach, and energy healer. And I'm super excited to be in the second year of this interview series and if you've been following along you already know what it's about if this is new to you then welcome and i hope you check out past interviews because there's a bunch of them um my mission for this whole series was really for every woman on this planet to be truly connected with her genuine self to listen to her heart and follow her dreams because uh we are just such better and more well-rounded people when we do that as like every single woman in this sorry about the geese <laughs> in this series has shared with their stories uh, I'm sitting outside today in a new location because the rest of my house is occupied and <laughs> apparently the outside is occupied too and they must have known that I was starting to record so they decided to fly over from across the lake so that's an aside. Um, <laughs> if you have been with me for a while, um, you may have seen my today's guest in her previous interview. Um, but so much has happened for her and so much has changed that I thought we would reconnect. And she's got some amazing stuff to share. So let me introduce her today. Once again, I am excited to reintroduce you to Toby Camilli. She's a former microbiologist turned writer, actor, producer, and manifesting coach. She's passionate about telling great stories, law of attraction, and helping others to learn to do the same. Currently, she's busy, busy, busy writing screenplays, <laughs> <laughs> producing films, writing e-courses, and helping people as a manifesting coach. Uh, she lives in Albuquerque, New Mexico with her four cats and enjoys writing, cooking, reading, making, and watching movies. Hey, Toby. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> perfectly you. perfect. That's the way we roll around here. That's totally fine. I mean, that, that bio could probably use some, uh, I don't know, a little bit more or something but it pretty much gets the point across and thank you thank you for the lovely introduction so uh, I'm excited that we have reconnected because you. so much has happened since we last spoke you were living in Boston mm -hmm. and you had just released was it your first e-course I believe so yeah color your dream right yeah. and now you've moved back home to yeah. New Mexico <laughs> and you periscoped the whole trip uh, from Boston to New Mexico, and I followed you a bit on that journey with your cats in the yeah. car. And <laughs> yeah, my cats all piled in my little Audi. You know, it was like <laughs> you know, like it, like out of a movie. It's like a clown, my little tiny car, and I, they were like stacked. It was like two cats, and then two cats, and then there was a cat in the rumble seat in the trunk of a car. Oh my God, that's so <laughs> the hatchback, so it's not like, you know. <laughs> that's funny. So uh, today I want to talk a little bit because this has really been coming around a lot lately. Um, yeah. And I've seen it over and over, even for myself. Um, <laughs> yeah. And acknowledging what you're passionate about and how it comes back around, even if you've resisted it for some reason for a while or you thought, maybe it couldn't happen it wasn't feasible or for whatever reason um for me it was just something i was resisting even though i was really good at it just because i felt like it was something i'd i'd already been doing for so many years that i didn't want to branch out into my own business doing the same thing but it's really what i'm good at and what i love to do so i did <laughs> and i realized that and then you know like everything feels so much better and it feels yeah. so much more in flow when you do that so i'm excited because of all the new developments that have happened for you lately not only yeah. for e courses but yeah. uh, manifesting and like any number of things so Go ahead and share all the awesomeness um, because as a manifesting coach, you have definite proof. That <laughs> it yeah. yeah, yeah, it's um, it's been an interesting like journey um, with the law of attraction and moving and 
you know, when I was still in Boston, I was, I was doing, and I had that e-course that had just come out and then I moved. And when I first got back to Albuquerque, I, I wrote two more e-courses um, about manifesting money and, you know, they, they performed pretty well, but anyway, um, they, they weren't really, the topic wasn't really my passion, like my huge passion, like they were both on money on how to bring more money into your life. And they're good courses. I stand by them. I'm, I'm proud of them, but, um, it's not money. Isn't my real passion. My real passion is telling stories anyway. So I finished when I finished writing that second course, you know, back here in Albuquerque, there is a huge film. The film industry is booming and it started five, six, seven years ago. And, and, um, I've had a dream of working in that industry forever, forever and ever and ever. Anyway. So, um, I guess the story that I want to tell is, is how, you know, when I was trying to force myself to write these courses on a topic matter that, that I, a topic that I'm not like, I'm excited about money, but I, it's not actually the money that I am excited about. It's about the freedom that the money brings, if that makes sense. Absolutely. You know, it's that freedom to not have to work for someone else. It's that freedom of being able to look in the bank account and, and be able to create money and that freedom. So anyway, so and not not yeah. by printing your own, but by <laughs> but yeah, not by printing your own. Yeah, yeah, you don't condone that, but just you know, being able to to put out you know this passionate love of 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 um and that like you said that that um that flow, um you know, forcing it you know doesn't it it's not good. It it feels contrived. It doesn't feel good. It drains you. So anyway. At the end of February, about three weeks ago, I had started back to my law of attraction practice, which, you know, I, I am a law of attraction person and I, I do believe in it and everything, but I, I don't always, or I haven't, I kind of fell off the wagon with my, my daily practice of, you know, writing down my goals and writing down what I really want out of my life and really digging deep as to what do I really, really want to do with my life? What can I do for hours? and not think about and you know hours just pass and whatever and it's writing it's writing it's stories it's you know so um i guess what has recently happened is i started back doing my law of attraction practice and really like looking uh, searching for that like you said that passion because i felt like i had lost it and i wrote those two courses and I wasn't feeling excited about my business. I wasn't feeling excited about pretty much anything at the time. Just kind of like, oh, what am I doing? Uh, and so I just, I did this, um, it was a, it was like a sheet on the dreaming and everything. And on it, I had written my, uh, one of my big goals, one of my big dreams was to work in the films. And the very next day, I got a call, well, a, a message on Facebook from a friend of mine who has a production company here in Albuquerque, wondering if I was going to write a script to be submitted to a festival. And I hadn't, I hadn't even thought about writing a screenplay or a script or anything. I just was, you know, like, okay, let's get back to what feels good and what doesn't. And, and I strongly believe that when you start shedding away the things that don't feel good, you know, it's like you can take a course online and they'll say, Oh, you need to be messaging, you know, 50 people a day. Well, if that doesn't feel good to you, it's not going to work. Excuse me. I got itchy nose. <laughs> um, it's not going to work, you know, but when you're, you come from a place of flow and a place of that, that passion stuff happens. And like you said, with your thing, you had been resisting it. I had been putting the movie business and, the, and working in film off because of my other business, which is, the manifesting stuff, but it came back around, you know, so that's, that's kind of, you know, that's, if that's not a, a good testimony for the law of attraction, you know, and at this point we are, I'm in the process of finishing the script. Um, we've already started talking about who we're going to cast and, um, when it's out, <laughs> when we gotta get it shot and edited, I'll have to share it with you and, and all your people. Oh my God. Yes. That would be so exciting. Yeah. So Cause you're going to act in this one, right? 
I am. I am, and I haven't been in front. I, I, I can be in front of the camera this way, but not. I this with this, I have to look at the camera. Like I'm trained to not look at it. I'm trained to just be like, yes, we are having. <laughs> like you know, you where it can be trained on you, but you're not looking right at it. Like I, it's just different. And this thing is like, you know, it's like this is about that big. Yeah, it's tiny. You're like, well, I, can cover, I can cover the lens with my finger. Um, <laughs> But these and are, you always want to look at the person too. Even this is hard, and I have to yeah. remind myself to look at the camera because I always want to look at the person I'm talking to. Or look at yourself. I want to look at myself. And be like, how many double chins do I have? <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, oh man, I have my hair out of place. Like, what's going on? I know. With that? I know. Me and my well, we were just talking about the hippie hair. <laughs> so, it's cousin it. Guess what else happened because this crazy, because now that we're actually recording, like it was quiet when we were talking, but yeah. now there's like kids next door throwing food to the the geese and the ducks. I'm like, nice. oh my God. Nice. So I get when everybody's in every room of the house on the inside, but you uh -huh. know what? Who cares? This is imperfect and that's just the way we do these things. I know. No, this is good. I, I love this interview series. I'm so thankful that you've like included me again. <laughs> I know. Well, I am because, you know, I've really become friends with everybody that I interview. And that's what's like so awesome is this like whole web of people across the world that uh, you get to connect with, which is, you know, I probably do it for a lot of selfish reasons because I do like to talk to people. So. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. It's fun. It's fun to see. And, you know, and, and I like to point out because so many people mm -hmm. have um, the perfection thing going on and they don't want to step out. I've even read fairly recently somebody posted something about wanting to do uh, a vlog or an interview series or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to have the perfect camera and she wanted to have the perfect backdrop and she wanted to have the perfect microphone and I'm like what are you talking about just do it I'm like <laughs> yeah no you do I use a little like I think this thing was like $15 my computer has a camera in it um I didn't get it working <laughs> right now I'm like out on my screen porch <laughs> with the geese so I'm like who yeah. cares yeah. the point no. is that you're sharing and you're getting your story you're getting your topic and your yeah. passion out there no matter what yeah no, it's true. It's true. I've heard of some people um, taking years, not months, not weeks, years, getting their website, making sure their website's completely perfect, and then making sure, you know, they have all this content before they ever launch. And it's like, I, I, I just, I kind of feel bad for them because waiting and waiting, like the waiting you know, you don't know what's going to work unless you get it out there. Exactly. Put it exactly. out there because, you know, and, and just like you said, just do it. Because Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. I had the guy that was like this whole viral video and my kids showed it to me. Oh, my God, it flew out of my head. Anyway, he did this whole just do it do so. thing. Yeah. yeah. No, there's <laughs> Something to be said, but I think I think when we hold back like that, I think when people hold back, and I I I'm guilty of it, holding back and holding back, um, it's because of some kind of fear or some kind of block that they have. That you know maybe like one of my big ones is the fear of not being good enough. That even if I spend hours on it, it's not going to be good enough. And you know I've been doing a lot of EFT, you know the tapping stuff, to just clear that and. I don't know what it is with that EFT, but it just clear, it just, I feel better overall. And then stuff starts happening, like, you know, and um, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know what the thing is, um, I recently heard, I've got like brain fart day, apparently. So <laughs> I recently heard from somebody else, <laughs> Sean Smith, I think. You knew this guy from this guy who yeah, had I knew this guy who was a friend of a friend who said, <laughs> you know, that how selfish of you and shame on you for not sharing your gifts because somebody is out there waiting for exactly what you have. So 
if you get stuck in that perfectionism and that everything has to be in order, and I, I've been there too. I mean, I was scared to put my website out at the get-go a couple, yeah. three years ago. But then I realized I can change this shit whenever I want to. Yep. You know, <laughs> and then, and I'm going to be changing it again here because it's not really exactly aligned like in the direction I'm going. But exactly. I can do that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. I'm rebranding my websites right now. And um, yeah, that's exactly right. You know, when I when I started them eight, nine months ago, or whenever it was, May of last year, 10 months ago, or whenever it was, um, I had a different... I had a different vision of what I wanted them to look like and be like. And like the one blog dream created life has this very colorful feeling to it. And it's very colorful. And, um, you know, having had it out there for so long now, it's like I'm to a point where I want to use my other website, tobycamelli.com because I'm rebranding that one to show, you know, to, to have the more of the writing and, and, and more of an overview, the coaching, I'm going to put that on there and, and possibly change dream created life just into one of my blogs, you know, instead of having it be like my main site that I, I, I use for everything, um, moving every seat, rebranding it, even not even a year in business and, and already starting to like, to, I totally, I, I think that that's, you know, that that's kind of how it is when you work online that, you know, you have the opportunity like that, like you said, with the perfection thing, you know, make it as good as you possibly can make it so that you're proud of it, you know, create things that you're proud of things that you, that you love that make you laugh or make you happy and make you feel good. But forget about, you know, cause I, I I'll tell you my, my, on my web website, I'll tell you a funny story. I thought I had it all, you know, perfect. It was like, oh, it looks so great. It looks great on phones. It looks great on everything. And then they went and they upgraded my, um, or they, they upgraded, they put out a new version of my um, theme. And it jacked up the whole thing. <laughs> it was like the universe saying, it's never going to be perfect. Where right. is going to tell you my universe? So like that side, I remember, and I use that theme on all of my websites. And I have, at the time I have four, now I only have three, but at the time it jacked up every single one of my websites uh, where the header was, the header was staying all big and it wouldn't scroll. It wouldn't shrink down. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what is going on? but you know, that's what I, the, the thing is, is that it, like you said, it, you, you have the giving up the perfection, really following your heart, following your intuition. Um, getting rid of anything that doesn't serve you, that doesn't fit you, that doesn't work for you. You know, uh, last, when I was moving, I, I went through this big decluttering project because I kind of had to, because I had to pay to move my crap, right? And um, in, in clearing out all that stuff, it like opens up space for other things to come in and replace it. And since I've been home, um, with the, the house, <laughs> that's a whole entertainment in and of itself, you know, um, coming home to a huge mess in the house and a lot of my stuff was gone because of my brother and, you know, but even now, like I, it's kind of become a thing where I declutter, I try to declutter something once a week, even if it's just, you know, I think last week I had, um, I found all these old, kitchen appliances like small ones you know mm -hmm. there was like a fryer that didn't have the cord there was a toaster that i didn't i didn't know it's not my toaster i don't know why it's here um there were some bottles that were in like a they, you know they were like a set for they once they they were like a gift set at one point they had stuff in them and i was gonna keep them and i thought no i don't like them they're gross like I'm just going to get them out of there, you know? And so I took, took them down to, I donated them. I went out my garage and I started decluttering there. It really, it allows stuff to come, come in. Then also decluttering the computer. That's important. And, oh, that's um, a good point. I got, I keep trying to organize it cause I download when I create images you for down. Facebook or for my yeah. website or whatever, you know, and I've got all these things downloaded. I've tried to like, 
file them, put them into folders, but then I keep yeah. downloading more stuff. And it's a mess. No, I know. I know. I did that too. In fact, you want to hear a funny, it's, it, this is what I, my bad thing was. I used to download everything into my downloaded file and there was like 2000 images in there. And then I discovered that I could set the computer up to say, save in such and such file. So I could save all my funny things, all my holiday things, all my, you know, wow. put in actual folders. It doesn't give me a choice of where to download. So there's somewhere you can set that yeah. up. Where, yes, I'll, I'll, <laughs> when we get off full air, I will show you. Because I was putting all of mine into one, it was automatically saving it into right. your this download. download. Then you have to sort it and put it. No, no, no. Yeah. We set it up like this, where when you hit like download, it'll say save to, and then it'll say choose folder. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, some things do that. But not like just the automatic download just downloads to the download folder. And I was like, this sucks. Yeah, I think it's you take off the automatic. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out when we get yeah, off. Yeah, okay. we'll Google that later. But for anybody else who thinks that you just have to download to the download folder and then you move don't. stuff, apparently you don't. So good tip for today. Yeah, yeah. You don't have I feel to. like a moron because probably everybody knows that already. I know. But, uh, I just didn't play with it enough. I just, you know, it's one of those things that I didn't make a priority. So I'm just like, ask for it. It's just going to download there and I'll move it later. You're all, they're all in one place. But then when you go to look for something, you're like, oh, where's that really funny, like, cat with the unicorn with the feathers? <laughs> and then, of course, you know, this is another thing you can do, which is very helpful to keeping the computer organized. So, you know how when you down, like, off of Facebook or somewhere and it gives you, like, this big, long, like, string of numbers? Yeah. Like one zero four two two seven nine seven dash ninety seven. You know, you can actually click on that and change the name. <laughs> you can rename it when you go to save it, which is oh, awesome. So you can give things its own name. Yeah, well, I do that when it's already downloaded, but you can do that before you download it. When yeah. it pulls up that little dialog box, you can rename it. I know. I know. I know. I. <laughs> I only learned this like a year ago, so. I think I'm a little embarrassed about my uh, tech skills, skills with a Z, right? <laughs> Shall we remember the Bluetooth? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, uh, so <laughs> we always go off track a, a little bit, but it's all useful information. It is very. Right. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> because you, you shared about how you like the other day or whenever it was, you had written, literally written down, writing um, a script or, or yeah, getting back I can, into the film industry. I can show it to you. And then it was like the next day, right? That the very a next friend of day. you showed up and said, hey, Toby, you've been thinking about putting a script in, submitting a script. I mean, that's fast. That's really fast, and and so now I'm I'm really determined, and I've started, and actually I, in the last three or four days I've created um, a man a simple manifesting guide for anybody that wants to get started. Um, just you know, they're they're real simple. It's a it's the simple manifesting guide. So, <laughs> just what you said. That's what I said. It's a simple manifesting guide about simple manifesting. Okay, no, I, I, I can go a little more depth than that. Um, it's a guide that I put together that basically um, it's going to be free available on my website soon. Well, by the time this, because this, this oh, recording will. Oh, okay, next we week. A few weeks. Yeah, a few weeks. So it'll, it'll be free for anybody to download. And it's, you know, it's got places for you to fill out. Um, but it, it's something that you, that I use personally. And actually, you know, this, this latest story with the movie thing um, happened after I used, I, I didn't use my guide, but I used somebody else's, but it's very, mine is very similar. And, um, you know, just to start getting, because you, you are what you attract, you know, you attract what you are <clears throat> and you attract what you're thinking about and what's making you feel good. So, you know, if you can take it just a couple minutes, you know, do the guide, put it away somewhere, maybe review it once a week um, and start looking like something that I, I was, and I've been guilty of this too with law of attraction of, 
um, thinking it doesn't work because things aren't just magically showing up. That's not how it works. Little things will show up. You know, it wasn't like I wrote on my manifesting guide, write a movie, be in a movie. And then the next day somebody said, here's a million dollars. We want you to write, direct and star in a film. It, it doesn't work like that. But there was that little sign, you know. And Damn it. They, I know. <laughs> thank God it doesn't because if you have ever thought, uh, elephants in my living room. Right, <laughs> elephants right. in your living room. <laughs> thank God that doesn't happen, right? <laughs> exactly. You know, like, oh, I wish the man of my dreams would show up. And then there he is walking naked down your hallway and you're going, oh, my God. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Johnny Depp. Whoa. <laughs> or, you know, like. You're like, wait a minute, wait, that not exactly like that, but more like this. You know, you gotta have time to you got time, you've got time to refine it, but you have time to look at you know, thank goodness that the law of attraction doesn't work like that. You know, you think about like the best you know, the girl in high school who like beat you up and she's in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work like that, you know. Thank God it doesn't. It's um, not the state farm commercial. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah, it's not like that. Hmm, sandwich. Bing. Sandwich. <laughs> I'd like a BLT. Bing. Um, yeah, it's luckily it's not like that. But it it does, you know, if you practice and just, you know, get back to dreaming and everything. And and I think that this particular this particular dream, the movie thing for me, has been in play for a long time. It the five six years, seven years, I started actively allowing myself to think about it and, and, and go for it probably back in 08, 09. Oh, that's seven years. A long time. <laughs> but I'll tell you, even back then, um, at back then I, I, I was more into the acting side of it, the performance side. But while you were doing your microbiology yeah. stuff. Right. Yeah, well, actually, I was, I think I was teaching at that point. I was teaching, I was a professor at that point. Um, and, you know, I started to get jobs when I wanted jobs. I started to get, I worked, I worked extensively in background. Um, I met somebody on a set who was producing an independent film. So he didn't get paid, but I met a photographer who was another producer who wanted me to be in one of his movies and give me a role so I could get my SAG card. And I moved, that was in 2011. I moved the month that we were supposed to shoot. So I kind of, <laughs> I don't know, the universe had different plans for me or I, you know, I, I went to chase my dream of living in Boston. And, um, but I always thought about it, you know, all those years up there in Boston, I always thought about it. I can remember driving down the road one day on my way to work and they were filming Black Mass. I think it was, oh no, they were filming, what's the one with uh, Bradley Cooper and Christian Bale, American, American something. See, you're having brain fart day too. It's Friday. It's the one where, <laughs> it's American, it's, I want to say American Psycho, but that's not it. It's the one where he's like, he ends up becoming a, he's kind of a shady character and Jennifer Lawrence is his girlfriend. For his wife. Do you know the one? Uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to think of the name. Yeah, I can't think of it either. <laughs> they were filming that in Boston. And on my way to work one morning, you know, I was still working in the microbiology lab, I saw the yellow sign on um, the pole. And my work was to the left, right? I had to go that way, and the sign was pointing that way. <laughs> And I can remember driving and thinking, I wish I could have taken that other route. Like I wish uh, I would have that. And it was like, what are you doing? I remember getting into work and I used to have to like park up and like walk down to my lab. And I'm like walking in and I'm thinking, this is not what I want to be doing. I wish, I was like, I wonder what they're doing right now. It's like 6.30. I bet they're like crafty's going and they're probably getting people. I bet the main character, the main, the principal actors aren't there yet. They're probably getting everything set up. <sighs> Crew's there. Somebody's got a cigarette. Somebody's smoking a cigarette. <laughs> He's got it all. Coffee's ready. I bet. I, I bet. I bet. I bet. If um, I had gone to set, I'd be in crafty, getting a burrito and like drinking some coffee, 
before I had to go check in because I'd probably be doing background. So check in with costume and then waiting for the PAs to tell us where we're going to go, what time we're going to get started. I'm at work looking <laughs> at freaking plates, fantasizing about what they're doing on the set of this movie. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, right? And then I was looking out the window. Um, I looked out the window. We had windows in our lab. One of the few labs that I worked in that wasn't in the basement, you know, got to put the laboratories in the basement. <laughs> you know, I, I'm not kidding. I have worked, I've worked in like three labs, micro labs that were in the freaking basement. Like, it, what is this? Like the dungeon of the la of the hospital? That's right. Yeah. They put us in the basement or they put you like out away from everyone else. Like here's the hospital. There's the lab 10 miles that way. <laughs> underground you know anyway okay so you know i had been thinking about it for years but i was looking out the window that day and just thinking like i wonder what they're doing now like all day long you know yeah. and as i drove as i drove home that night um down the same road i looked in my rear view mirror and the sign was still up and i was like oh if it's gonna be there tomorrow <laughs> I don't know it's just will I turn that way tomorrow well I know I so did I was like in my little car and you know how the streets are in Boston you've been there yeah so this was one of those intersections that could just be described as not really an intersection more like <laughs> um there's no lines there's like five directions you can go not one two one three there's like seven directions you can go you can go straight you can go like just barely to the left and then there's like a true left like you know <laughs> turn the car left and then there's a whip around left so it's actually behind you and then there's <laughs> like and then as the road goes straight like you can't see it but it's got this like little like on the sign it's got like a little yui on the sign it's like what is that all about and then i see a car like whipping around and i'm like but they're not making a Yui. They're actually going to another road. <laughs> I, <We don't. laughs> yeah, no, and then there, and then there was that one that like, it's, not, it's like, here's the straight. And then it's just, it's like a good fork. You get across the intersection and you can go that way or just barely that way. And then there was a turn. Anyway. Much like life. Yeah. Yeah. You can like, go straight. You can veer off a little bit. You can make a complete U-turn. Make a complete U-turn, but not to the road that you were on before. Exactly. Another road. There's another road behind you that you really, you can't even see it till you turn around. Um, yeah. It, and how often does that really happen, though? I mean, and that's the thing. That's a great that. little analogy for for yeah. life. You know that often. I mean, if you're not moving, you're not going to see any options. So exactly. you have to move. Exactly. You have to pick something and move in that direction. And sometimes you might find that road that you didn't even know was there. Exactly. Exactly. You can't just sit there because otherwise people are going to be honking at you. Get Because they have places to go. They got places to go. But yeah. So <laughs> that's that's kind of my, <laughs> my, my little story of, you know, like the movie thing. And how and it all comes back around, which I think is just awesome. Because I think that's what most – if people really pay attention and you know, like years ago, I wasn't into all this and I, I wish I was, I wish I had known so much of what I know now then because I don't even know where I would be now, but um, I did not So anyway, going forward, I know much more. <laughs> Am I making you choke or something? <laughs> no, I just spilled it. Yeah, yeah. baby. That's okay. This but it's, it's the awareness of, yeah. the journey and the the knowing i mean there's a bunch of faith that goes along with with all this too but um i think it's the faith the awareness the knowing that no matter what steps you take are going to take you in that direction exactly. and being open to possibilities that you probably hadn't even thought of so to not put on the blinders yeah, because there are so many things that could happen that are exactly what you want or better, but that you hadn't thought of before. Or that you maybe didn't give yourself permission, because I think a lot of like, you know, as we like we're little kids, 
And I don't know what you wanted to be when you wanted to be a little, when you were a little kid, when you grew up. I wanted to be president, an astronaut, and a movie star. <laughs> you know? And when people ask me, I said, that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to be a movie star, a pres the president, and an astronaut. I'm going to go to the moon. But and think of how that could happen. You go to the moon, and you're acting. You'll be you're, an actor. Yeah, you know. Uh, you could be the president of your own production company or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but you ask you ask any adult, and it's like, oh, I just want to pay my debt. Mm. I know. Mm. It's like you know, nobody's getting out alive, man. You might as well enjoy the ride. <laughs> there you right. go. Exactly. And I, I, I ran into people like you know from my past since I've been back here, and um, you know, when I tell them what I do for a living, they're kind of like. So you don't work? No, I work. I just don't work for someone else, you know. And right. you know, if you ask if you, if I start some of them, I've talked about law of attraction with, and they they're like, oh, that can't work. And I'm like, it doesn't work for you because you don't believe, you know. But but yet it does. They but just yet don't it does. realize it because what have they been putting out there, and what are they seeing in their reality? Exactly. So even if you don't believe in it, it's still working. Yeah, we attract what we're thinking about. We attract what we want. You know, um, I think that even just, I, I read in one of my books that it's like, all you need is like 15 or 17 seconds a day to just visualize one of your big dreams coming true. 17 seconds. Hold it in your mind for just 17 seconds. I mean, everybody's got 17 seconds, you know? Shit, you know, you do it when you're brushing your teeth. Like my toothbrush has a two minute timer. So. Exactly. I you just sit like, there, uh, uh, think about my vision for vision, two yeah. minutes. Well, four, it could be four minutes a day because I could do it in the morning and at night. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Man, what can you do with four minutes? I'm manifesting some massive shit now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and writing it down is another one. Um, yeah, that's important. That's what I do with clients too is like their vision statement for like a six-month period of time. And I think that's super duper important. It is. And then to reread it, to reread it, but to write it down, write it down, write down their, their vision, you know, like those three dreams. And then every day, write down, like maybe not the same thing every day because it's going to change a little bit every day. Um, I have a notebook that I keep, I've just started back up again. I write down all the things that are good in my life right now. So that's basically like the gratitude, the thankful, but right. being thankful for, but I like it. What's good. What's good? What's happy? What's good? And I write four or five things down on that. And then I write down, what do I want to do? Or what do I want? What do I want? Dot, dot, dot. So that's like, what do I want to have? What do I want to be? What do I want to see? What do I want to experience? And I just write down seven right things, you know? Yeah. Like, and I put everything on there. I don't even hold back anymore because I'm like, why not? You know, even my, oh, here's another one for you. So I was talking to my mother yesterday, kind of. I mean, one of our talks about family stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, and on my on my in my little notebook, I want to be able to ha afford a massage every week. And so then my mom yesterday is like, "I'll pay for you to have a massage every month." <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, every month, and I was like, "Are you serious, mom?" She's like, "Yes, if it makes you happy, yes." I'm nice. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh, manifesting a massage." And then, oh, I got to show you the other thing that I've been doing. And I'm going to have these available too. Hold on one second. Okay. I got to grab my notebook. This is my, this is my journal. Okay. So with the money thing, you know how they say to track your money. And I am really bad at tracking my money with like numbers, right? I don't like to track it with numbers. Mm -hmm. This is something I could, I might, if you want it for your people, it is how the coloring is all the rage, right? Right. So I've done all, I've started doing art again, art to heal and art and everything. So what I did was I create these like little flowers, right? And like each flower is a hundred bucks. Ah. Okay. So each flower is a hundred or it could be a thousand. So it's like 25 or 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, or 25, 20, <laughs> 20, 20, because I think there's five petals on there. There's five petals. Okay, so each flower <laughs> is each flower is a hundred dollars, right? And I wanted to manifest. I think it was a thousand dollars. So I had ten flowers on here, right? And as I like 
earn my money, I get to color my coloring in. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah. In fact, actually, and so I did that one. I'm going to do some more. This would be great for your planning people. Yes. So if you want me to make, make some and, and um, for the yeah, money. Yeah, that's really money. cool because, and you know, some people don't like to think about the dollar sign or the numbers. So if it makes you feel better with flowers or. or well, I'm going to do some other ones. I, I would like crystals. Huh? I would like crystals. You want me to do some crystals? Okay, I'll draw some crystals. Like, but I have to make them with so many, so many facets for like. But but the thing about it is, you can designate them to represent whatever denomination you want. Right. I did these with five so that you know, for every hundred dollars, and then I did another one. I haven't filled this one out yet because I've, I've, um, I I man I did that that other one was fifteen hundred dollars, and then this is the one I haven't colored this one in yet. But this one, they're shells. Yeah, that that's a gonna... great idea. I like that. It's a different, yeah. a different way, different means to the same end. So. Yeah. Well, to me, like I used to always, um, and it didn't work. I'm not a vision board person. I don't know. I just doesn't. It doesn't do my brain right or whatever. But I used to write. I used to put my my money goal for the month, like in big numbers, and it was colored. It was on the wall. It was always staring me in the face. Like. And then when I wouldn't hit that goal, I feel terrible, which, you know, so then I tried this, you know, at the beginning of the month, I just drew out those flowers and I was like, I'm going to fill all these, I'm going to get to color in all these flowers and I've already colored them in and it's finally halfway through the month. I like it. So yes, I like that. It's more fun. You get excited to color in petals and stuff. Yeah. Well, you can draw your own or I'm going to, I'm going to try to make some PDFs available. Um, just like, you know, you can use these for money, money manifesting, or you can use them just to color in if you want. Um, if you hit your money goal, then you get to color the whole thing in at the end of the month. But it's fun to do it through the month. Like I had really had a good time <laughs> drawing cartoons. So I like yeah. it. That's a good idea. Yeah, so that'd be idea. cool. That'd be cool to add to your planner. Yes. You have a planner that's coming out. You're gonna do a planner. I want to see it. Well, you just put it out there now. I either edit this part of the video out or it's, it's out there. Yeah, super simple planner for getting your shit done because um, I think that's a good and useful opt-in free little gifty gift. It is. I, I told you that, uh, you know, um, that one that I had really helped me. Yeah. Other than there were parts of it that I didn't use, but it's like, you know, you use what – things to you and whatever. Right. Exactly. Anyway, but Oh okay. my gosh. So really I'm going to say the takeaway yeah of this is daily attention to your dreams, yep. taking action, taking action, inspired action, taking those little steps, you know, um we were talking before the show about, you know, it's great to have a dream. It is. Everybody has them. But if you do nothing, it's just a daydream. It's just a wish. Yep. If you start aligning little things in your life, like, you know, when I w wanted to become a writer, you know, you know, I had always been thinking about it. Um, I started to write and I didn't care. I just did it. You know, I wrote a blog. I wrote a book. I started taking I took some online courses on writing on how to get you know how to be a writer and I just did it you know and now I get to add screenwriting you know I'm trying something I've never done before and yeah. you know or or if your dream is to like go live in the south of France well start looking at you know what the affordability is of it like how much money do you need to go live in the south of France can you find a job in the south of France where you can go live there and have them pay you you know, whatever your dream is, just take little action. You know, um, you want to take a four week vacation to the Caribbean. Um, so, or, you know, the, the manifesting is like little, little inspired little snippets of your life. You know, like my, my friend Renee and I are always talking about, you know, nothing gets done if you don't do anything. Like you can sit there and think, Oh, I want to be an actor or I want to do this or whatever it is. If you do nothing to do to, to even try, you know, um, to show the universe that you're serious, 
and that you mean business, that you're serious about the stream. I mean, I'm not saying, you know, that you should go buy a camera and make your own movies like right away, but maybe, maybe see what, what's going on in your community. Maybe get, you know, go audition for some place, <coughs> whatever. You know, the takeaway is that in, in the inspired action, dream your dream. Doesn't cost you anything, doesn't hurt anybody. Take that inspired action and just, you know, when it, when it, Seems like it, maybe it's not happening. Take a look around. Maybe there are little signs that are that are showing up. You know, maybe you're getting messages in your email from things, or maybe you know you're 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 meeting people who are in that industry. You know, you hear a song on the radio. You hear a song on the radio. You see a, a sign movie. on the road that points you that way. <laughs> a sign on the road. That's a sign. That is a sign. Yeah, the sign. <laughs> Uh, so I know, and, and well, you know, um, at one point that weekend after that week, I went back to try to to get the sign because they lose sometimes they forget to pull them down, and my friend and I used to have a habit. We tell the production, we'll take them down for you because we were collecting them as like we worked on that set. I know they're these they're these like plastic signs, and they they usually have letters on them, and they're yellow. They're usually yellow. And they're like, you know, they're just like zip tied onto like a pole. Well, back four or five years ago when I was working here, we would get, we would tell the production company, we would take them down for them. Like we'd say, yeah, we'll take them down for you or whatever. And we had a, I had a collection of like four or five of them from some major movies. Well, so I went back, I thought, oh, this would be my first one from Boston. And I went and it was gone. I was like, oh, it's so sad. But even though I didn't work on the movie, but. <laughs> I wanted the sign as a reminder. See, yeah. but it wasn't meant for you to have that one because that opportunity wasn't yours to keep. I guess so. No, it was a reminder. <laughs> it was a reminder of like you know. I did. I got into work that morning. I am not kidding you. And I was like, nothing but me. that. Nothing. I was like, I wish I could have gone that other direction. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm, I wasn't invited. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> Just like go, even if it was just to hang out and like you know be a looky loo. But no, see, I, I mean, that. that's a good that's a good point um, for people too who have a vision but haven't achieved it yet. Like, go hang out with the people who are doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just get involved in, in that stuff and like find the community, make that part of your life in whatever way. It doesn't have to be massive at first. It's just some yeah. measure. Those are the little steps, and in my in my simple manifesting guide, that's in there, where you list list steps of things. It's just you know choose one thing, you know maybe you're gonna read the trade magazines for whatever you're trying to do or trying to get into or trying to right. make happen, or maybe you're finding seeking groups out on Facebook, or you go on Twitter and you follow people on there. If you're not into social media, go to the library or you know. Meet up groups. Meet huh? up group. There are a lot of meetup groups meet up that, groups. or you create your own and yeah, attract people. Yep. Yeah. Cause it's always better with it. I don't know. There's something about a tribe that, you know, when I first started in this business online, um, I felt very, very alone. And you know, one of the best decisions that I made and it was on a leap of faith was to join Leone Dawson's Academy. Yeah. And I met you there. I met Maria and, several other people and I'm no longer in that academy anymore, but I'm still in it kind of, Yeah. you know, I'm still, right. I've made so many wonderful friends. I love and, Leone. Huh? I love Leone. Leone. I hope someday I can meet her. She's on, she's like, she's on my dream jar. Is thing. she really? Yeah, she's such a nutter, man. She's so funny. I know. Um, yeah. I guess they had some big, big meeting up down in Canberra or something. They had their first retreat with her and Grant. Yes. Because yes. I did one in the U.S. with Grant here out west, Colorado. Colorado, Denver. Right. Yes. That's they, close to me. Yeah. And then I just did the one in Australia. Yeah, she's funny. She's too much. She's like... <laughs> But I love all the women that she attracts. Yeah, she has a great vibe. Yeah, she she does. and they're all like fantastic. It's that's the important, you know. Find a, a support group. Find a, a tribe, a clan. You know, I've been been in other. I've been in some groups that I've had to. 
that just didn't, I, they just weren't jiving for me. You know, they just didn't feel, I didn't feel like they were a good fit for me. Mm -hmm. And that's another, that's part of that decluttering, like knowing when it, like trusting your instinct, trusting that gut feeling to say, this just isn't, you know, there, there's a, there's a pretty famous, I don't know if she's famous. She's pretty well known in this online community of business entrepreneurs. And, you know, she's made quite a bit of money and she's quite successful, but for whatever reason, her message. So I had to, you know, say, yeah, I want to be successful like her, but her message doesn't, it just, I, so I took myself out of that community and I, and I had, which is a good point because some people feel, I mean, like I've, I've felt that way too. Like, Oh my God, everybody's doing this. There's like a million people doing this, but you bring your own energy to thing. it. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, just because there's a million people doing it, it's not you and your personality might be the exact fit for somebody else. Yeah. So you should never think that, Oh my God, it's everywhere. Everybody's doing it. And that it would deter yeah. you from giving your dream a try because exactly. You you. But yeah, so Dr. Seuss rhymes about that. You Dr. are Seuss. you and something and <laughs> I don't you know. Are you. <laughs> I love Dr. Seuss. You don't stuff. live in a zoo. <laughs> you wear nice shoes. Because you are you. <laughs> yeah. You love the color blue. There we go. <laughs> well, don't I, think, I, I was trying to pay attention to the time and I think I failed. That's like, okay. We're at about about an hour. Yeah. So uh, your simple manifesting guide, mm -hmm. that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Uh, that will be available and I will put a link to that on yep. my website, shariseboucher.com yep. under the Inspire View Series 2016 tab. Yeah, um, it'll be available. Yeah, and if you're just watching this on YouTube, then go to my website, shariseboucher.com, and and grab that because there'll be a direct link right there. But yeah. also uh, tobycamilli.com as well. And Dream Created um, Life, it's going to be on both of those sites. Okay. So you can get it either way. I'll have links and everything. Um, when I when this interview goes live, I'll put up a. Well, it's live now. <laughs> the replay. <laughs> right. When when the actual when I release the actual when you want to release it. Because I do record these for those of you who don't know. So but yeah. the Inspire View series also I'm super excited about this year that I'm offering I'm connecting with some past guests and maybe future guests to bring live online workshops too. So oh, that's cool. Yeah. And I've got one coming up um, with a past guest doing EFT actually. So oh, really, really fun. Oh, I need to get on that one. EFT. I'm telling you, man, that EFT thing. Yeah. It's and so she's amazing. She's amazing. She's truly amazing. I mean, I had a session with her. She does this EFT and matrix reimprinting and um, it's, not what it's I expected. So matrix imprinting, re-imprinting, re-imprinting. Yeah, you'll have to check her out. It's in my Facebook group, um, the Inspire View series. Yes, Facebook group. So lots of ways to connect. Lots of ways. And yes. Toby is in that group. So if you want to send her a message, you can certainly uh, yeah. post something in there and tag her in it, and she'll yeah. see it. Yeah, I'm in that group. Not as active as I probably should be. You will be though. You will be. I will be. I know. Oh, I've been doing this experiment of not being online so much, not like less social media, more like life. Yes. Which is good. It's good to unplug sometimes. It's that balance thing. Like I'm trying to become more balanced. I'm exercising again, which that's always fun when you're really overweight. <laughs> it no, it sucks. I'm a lot. I'm not lying. I'm not it's it's hard but you know it's important so I'm doing it I'm just like okay yes it sucks now but there's a purpose there's a reason for doing it so anyway That's awesome. you could even share that because I know lots of people feel that way oh yeah well you know what it is it's just I used to be really fit and really in shape and then I'm not now so when I'm when you're really fit and in shape it's easy Treadmill, easy. Lifting weights, easy. Dancing, easy. No. Then you put 100 pounds on the body, and the body goes, no. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> my body goes no and i'm not 100 pounds overweight but as soon as i feel like a burn i'm like ah uh, nope i quit <laughs> well i but like i'm like I, what kills me what, what, what makes it painful for me is i can't do the things i used to be able to do the guys be able to like jump around like kick my legs like up to the freaking ceiling and you know like now it's like just walking walking makes me sore i'm like what I used to, I used to, I used to be a fitness instructor. I used to be on the stage, like dancing around, woo, yeah. you know, jumping, 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 and and now it's like, now it's like, okay, well, you got to start somewhere. Put one foot That's in right. Front, just walk away and write it, write it in your little manifesting journal thing. Oh, it, oh no, actually, but I, I write. Okay, and this actually has been working, mostly working. It is working. Um, instead of writing lose weight, I've been writing, I have a healthy fit body. Yes. Healthy fit body. I have a healthy weight or, you know, I want to have, you know, I, I have a healthy, I'm at a healthy weight. I, I love want that. to be a healthy weight. Instead of saying lose weight, which is that taking away like the, what is here now isn't okay that it, there's something wrong with it. Right. You say like, I'm, and I've been, and that seems to be working because I've lost 10 pounds and I haven't really tried. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's just reframing the same thing into a more positive. It. Yep. And so saying, you know, I want to lose weight, which is like, oh, uh, like, well, it's negative. It's somewhat that has a negative connotation. I'm just saying, you know, I have a healthy body, which healthy bodies are at a healthy weight. Mm -hmm. We'll see how much more weight I can lose. That's <laughs> awesome. Doing you're, huh? doing, you're doing well. You've already seen progress. So, yeah, you can't see it today. Well, maybe you can see it. Can see so it? funny. Oh, my God, you got to do that again. We were laughing so hard the last time. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the... <laughs> <laughs> you can see why Toby is in acting. <laughs> what? The face. I know, um, and I make facial inspections, and I don't even realize I'm doing it, and people laugh, and I'm like, what are they laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm in a bar with my friend like two months ago, like a couple months ago and this dude walked by okay and I try I try really hard to be you know everybody has a place on the bus no matter how what they look like what they act like that everyone has a place even if I don't this guy walks by just look, it looked weird and I was just like <laughs> and then my friend starts laughing and I'm like are you laughing at me I said, what are you laughing at? He goes, your face. And I'm like, what's going on my face? Like, do I have like mascara? Like, did my, do I have lipstick? Uh, and he's like, you know, you totally snarled at that guy. And I'm like, I snarled? <laughs> like, I was like, what do you mean I snarled? And he's like, you know, you did one of those like faces that you make. And then, it, then I try to recreate it. And then, it, then it's even funnier. Right. And he's like, he goes, we gotta take a photos of all of those faces, and I'm like, no, we don't. Actually, I did, I, I did some funny ones. I was, I was going out the other night, and I was taking photos. I was taking, I never take selfies, right? And my friend Renee was like, you need to take some selfies. And so this was the result of the selfies. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the quote was like, oh my god, double chin. And then there's another one. Right, right, and then of course, like me being afraid of my double chin. <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. I was just making these faces. Here's another one. See, this is the stuff you need to share because it's so you, and I can't even imagine the the number of people who would like line up just to get to chuckles laugh. from what you have to share. Seriously, it's not just about me. It's about manifesting laughter and it is. Like that vibration, you know, to to get all those juices flowing and everything. Yeah. Well, I just shared it on your show. Does that count? Yeah, <laughs> I get nervous. I don't know why, but I just make these faces and you know, um, with my law of attraction stuff and my manifest. I take a pretty, I have a pretty lighthearted view of it. You know, like I, I want to, I, I, I like having fun with it. Instead of like, you know, let's sit and meditate for four hours. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I think I manifested a nap. Right. Hey, hey <laughs> too. That's or, 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 at one time, oh my gosh, I have the funniest um, 
I, I have the funniest meditation story ever. I went to this, I we used to do a lot of yoga back about 15 years ago. I had this friend and she was like a total granola. Like she was like, let's go to this, like raise the energy of the earth meditation. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, mm-hmm. So we get in there and there's all these people and they're all sitting on these like poofs and they're like, mm, and there's no noise. And I'm going, oh shit. <laughs> like, what Makes you want to giggle, right? Oh my God. I'm standing there and I'm like, and of course this was like, this is the New Mexico, like, okay. A lot of people in that community here in, in Albuquerque, they're, they're vegan. They don't shower. They don't use soap. They don't use tamper. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting a good picture of that. I'm not judging. I'm just making a statement. So I get in there and I'm wearing, you know, like my yoga pants and everything. And uh, my friend who's, you know, she's kind of halfway to that granola. She's like, okay, well, just ring the bell and light the thing. And I'm like, why are we doing that? I'm like, isn't it going to disturb? She's like, no, it calms the energy. So we get in there. And we sit down, and of course, everybody's sitting in full lotus position. I I, can't, I had been doing yoga, and I was in really great shape. I still couldn't do full yoga, yoga, lotus position. I was like, whatever. Sit down, and then we're just supposed to sit there, and nobody's saying a word. And I'm going, okay, for how long? How do we, <laughs> how do we know when we're done? And what are, you know, like, I'm looking around, and then I close my eyes. And then my foot starts to fall asleep. Yeah. My back starts to seize, and I'm like, "Can I get up? Like, am I allowed to get up?" <laughs> like, I'm moving my legs. Then my other foot falls asleep. Then my butt falls asleep. Right? My friend is all into it, sitting so, there you know, all peaceful. I'm like, "I don't know about this meditation shit. <laughs> <laughs> if this is what I got to do, come be in this stinky room with all these stinky people, and..." It, literally it was like that for like an hour oh my gosh yeah and, i'd be sitting there wondering like what was the plan what's the plan yeah what? well now i've learned that there's different sides of meditation i am not a sit in the room with 40 people just you know i'm not one of those meditating people i actually like to do moving meditations my favorite yeah. thing is painting washing yeah. the dishes vacuuming my dad laughs at me because when we started working on the house, I was like, oh, yes, my this is my quiet time. Well, actually, I listen to disco music, but I, I paint and I meditate and I listen to music and it just phew, feels all good. Not one of these, like, like that experience of meditating. I thought I would never be able to meditate after that. My friend invited me. I was like, sorry, I'm busy tonight. No, no, I just sit in this room with these people. I just, like, like what am I doing here? It's so funny. My I know. Is- well, a lot of people get turned off for meditation because they think it has to be that strict, structured thing. But gosh, there's so many yeah. different variations of it that, uh, yeah, you can find a way. Find one that works for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't make, it doesn't need to be a struggle. I don't. I don't believe in it having to be a discipline. I no. think. It no, should I think, be beneficial, and if you find yeah. a way that works, then it works. The guided meditations help a lot because if you have a mind like mine that's always running on, like, you know, 40,000 RPMs, you know, at yeah. all the time, just having one, like, that says, you know, like a, a guided meditation that walks you through certain thoughts. Yeah, that, yeah that, I like those, you know, too. One or two minutes. None of this hour butt falling asleep, foot falling asleep, like, what am I doing? It's like, what? I know. You know, what am I? And then, then it's like, okay, they keep saying, and then tell you, clear your mind. There's no clearing my mind. Yeah. When I say clear my mind, 50,000 things rush in and say, no, but what about us? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget us. Like, I start thinking about, like, oh, I need to buy cat food, and I yeah. need to remember to buy this, and then, oh, my gosh, I need – to call so and so, and oh my gosh, where's my cell phone? Did I leave my cell phone at home? Did I turn off the, the oh, lights? I know. Did I you do this lock the door? Thing. Does your mind do that? Mine does yeah. it all the time. Yeah. So anyway, I guess we've we've probably gone over. Yeah. We, <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta go see my mom. Yeah, it's all right. Well, thank you so much you again know? for well, you. sharing all your funny tidbits of experiences <laughs> and super useful information it's always it's always a nice 
cornucopia of stuff from the chat. <laughs> plethora. It's plethora. Yes. Have you seen? I was watching them um, three amigos the other See, day. Look, here you go again. <laughs> Hold on. Let me end this, and then you can share. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you so much, everybody, for watching. Until the next time. Yeah.